Hey guys, Spooky Saint here. Today, as promised, I'm going to continue my Megazord project by showing you how I build the thighs. First, cut eight long rectangular pieces of cardboard. Fit them to your thigh right where you want it to go and duct tape them together. Next, cut two corners off of the top that's going to be pointing in the direction of your crotch area. Be sure to also cut a rectangular piece off, that way it'll fit proper. After that, cut a big notch in the bottom right where your leg's going to bend, right behind the knee. Be sure to try it on and bend your knee several times, that way you can make sure that it's not going to bother you. Do the same for the other thigh piece. After that, pull out a long black strip of duct tape and put it right down the center. Do the same for the other side, of course. Then cover the rest of the front and the sides with gray duct tape. Then cover the back with red duct tape. Next, we're going to make the Tyrannosaurus footprints on the back of the thigh. How we're going to do this is we're going to pull out your plastic piece and put three long pieces of white duct tape together. Then place it on the red part on the back of the thigh. That way you can figure out the size and where you're going to put it. And if you've got cats, they'll be very happy to keep that thigh piece in place for you while you do this. Cut the edges of the duct tape to make them even, and use your pencil to draw two diagonal lines coming from the top of the foot. Unfortunately, my measurements are terrible when it comes to this, but basically what you want to do is, is make the diagonal lines come down to about 3 inches. Of course, if you're shorter than me, you're going to have to make it a little smaller. Next, grab your round protractor and draw some semicircles, then cut those pieces off. It'll look something like this when you're done. You'll have to do this one more time, but in order to get the measurements right on the other thigh, there's a simple trick to this. Grab yourself a piece of paper and trace the edges of the white piece before you put it on the thigh. Then just do what we did earlier with the plastic and the white duct tape, trace the edges, and cut it out. Then when you're done, put them both into place. Then go to your reference photos of the Megazord, grab your black marker, and copy the images that you see on the back of the thigh. Next, grab yourself an old black pair of pants and measure where you want the thighs to end up on there. The only way you could do this is to put on the pants and just pull them up where it's comfortable. Grab your black marker and mark right on the top of the thigh piece, both front and back. Then cut off eight pieces of industrial strength Velcro, both the sticky side and the fluffy side. Attach the fluffy side to the inner part of the thigh piece, both front and back, and attach the sticky side to the pants. Again, both front and back. Now this type of Velcro has a super adhesive, but I find it doesn't work too well on clothes. So once you got them into place, just sew them right in. That way the Velcro won't come off your pants. And there you have your thigh pieces. Now that we got the thighs completed, we're going to move on up to the torso. And I'll tell you how I made that in a few weeks. But until then, this is Movie Fan signing off.